The following video contains strong language which may be offensive to some viewers and inappropriate for children. The content within this video is intended for mature audiences only. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. The purpose of trash talk during competition is to cause a loss of focus by elevating emotion to the point of distracting an opponent and decreasing their performance. At times trash talking can be very beneficial and help you in victory. When it works, you look like a genius and it boosts your confidence. Other times, the trash talk can turn against you. Today we will take a look at times where fighters had to eat their own words. Enjoy! Dave Herman not believing the arts. That's because he knows jujitsu doesn't work. I know my opponent's a jujitsu black belt. I don't think jujitsu really even works. Jujitsu doesn't work. Daniel Cormier predicting the left head kick. We figured out by September 27th. And so don't think you're going to kick me in the head with your left leg. I have many tendencies, my friend. We, we all have <laughs> So do not many. think you're going to kick me with the left foot in the head, so. Ronda Rousey predicting Holly Holmes' head kick. Keep distance and keep far away from me and get me frustrated to a yeah. point I'll make a mistake and she can try and kick me in the head, but it's not gonna go like that. Not the way that she wants. Conor McGregor predicting the stretcher. Woke up and him to be honest, it's just how I am. He's, he's a corpse, a dead body. A blank face. It's gonna get his ass whooped and took out in a stretcher. Can you go on record right now? Oh, I said I'm gonna take him out in a stretcher. He's going out in a stretcher in this fight. What round, sir? You'll pay to see that. K.O. Out on a stretcher. This man is gone. Masvidal underestimating the champ. What did you feel that said, you know you can beat him? He hits like a bitch, and <laughs> I was tired. We, we can't stand together, and he knows it. It's gonna be violent, it's gonna be bloody. Um, he's gonna be unconscious for a rather long time. He never wobbled me, he never dropped me, or any of that stuff, you know? Because he's not built like me. I am full man, and he's, he's something not a man. I just see us in complete different levels, you know. I man, it, it's like disrespectful to, to bring that guy in the striking aspect. You know, I, I thought he was gonna shoot him. He just clocked me in the face, and I looked him right in the soul, and I was like, man, you could never hurt me. The ironic ending of Bernard Hopkins' career. I would never let a white boy beat me. I would never let a white boy beat me. You call me any statement you want. You like a friend that I would never lose to a white person. Paulie against the goat. Spit on oh, your head. I'm gonna spit on you. I'm gonna spit on you. I'm gonna spit on you. I'm gonna take out my dick and piss on you, bro. So you think you're gonna put Artem in the hospital? Yeah, yeah. If I don't put Artem in the hospital, it, it's probably not worthwhile. Don't worry. I'm gonna knock you I'm gonna hospitalize you. Do you understand? You don't wanna do it. You're gonna get hurt. He knows he's gonna lose this fight. It's gonna be an easy fight for him. Yes, it's gonna be a very easy fight for me. But he knows he's gonna lose this fight. And then you're gonna get a mismatch too. I'm gonna pummel the shit out of this guy like he fucking stole something. I'm gonna beat you like your fucking father. Like you know, Volume Andre's hard on mobile. Who's gonna win? We already know who's gonna win. You know what I mean? I think anybody with a 
brain in their, in their head and knows who's gonna win. There's a reason why he's lying, okay? And so he knows deep down he's gonna lose this fight. Well, next month, I'm gonna put this guy in a fucking coma. Because that's what he deserves. Yeah, don't don't, don't threaten me here. Don't threaten me here. Because, come on, let's be honest, Jamal. It's not like a fight where I'm at risk of losing it. Rampage Jackson on his loss to Fedor. It's always a little voice in the back of your head. Oh, go ahead, get choked out. Fuck it, you tired. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you getting your ass kicked. Go ahead and fall down. Like you got knocked out, man. You getting a good paycheck. You know what I'm saying?